Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name's David, this is a Magic Review. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for dropping by. Thanks for spending some time with me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, this, these couple of minutes that we hang out together every morning while you drink your coffee or while you're on your lunch break or after you just get home from school, it means a lot to me, it does. And I, I couldn't have this channel if it wasn't for you guys. And uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't do this if it weren't for you. So thank you guys, every single one of you, so much. I read all your comments. I respond to comments. Those of you who are new or you've never, uh, haven't, if you haven't tried commenting yet, I know there's a lot of YouTube channels that don't comment. Like they get to a certain point and like they stop they stop commenting, but I, I comment. I listen to all of you guys and I, and I use a lot of your suggestions uh, every single week. So keep them coming, keep them coming. Today, we're gonna look at the NACL shaker. N-A-C-L, what does is, what is N-A-C-L stand for? That's a good, that's a good question. What does N-A-C-L stand for? I mean, it could stand for something else, I suppose. You could come up with some fun acronym. If you wanna come up with a fun acronym, and put it down below, uh, that'd, be, that'd be kinda cool. Uh, but, <laughs> but it'd be a fun game, it'd be a fun game. But NaCl is uh, sodium chloride. <laughs> NaCl, sodium chloride. So it's a sodium chloride shaker, or salt shaker, right? Sodium chloride is salt. So this is a salt shaker gimmick. What is the trick? Um, it's borrowed ring, borrowed ring to salt shaker. Uh, full salt shaker, full of salt. So you could be at the, the dinner table and uh, just ask the person across from you, hey, can I borrow your ring? You know, you take their wedding ring off and you do the whole, whoa, it's gone. Uh, you say, no, I'm just, I'm just joking. We'll, we'll put it in an envelope and you could bring out a little manila envelope, drop it inside, close it, okay? And you could say, it's, you know, it's right there. Don't worry, we've got it. But then you could light the envelope on fire. It could burn and the ring is gone. So that's okay. I've prepared for this. Go over to the salt shaker. You could tip it like this and they could see actual granules of salt come out. Unscrew the lid, dump out everything, big huge pile of salt, and there, right in the center, is their ring. They can grab it themselves, no switch. It's really their ring. And they can examine it, put it back on uh, their finger after they wash off all the salt. And that's really it, that is really it. You could really do that trick with very minimal moves. Very minimal moves, very minimal slights. Easy enough for the beginner to do. Uh, $55, hocus-pocus.com, exclusive. What do you get? Uh, inside, you're gonna get the special salt shaker, okay? It is special. You will get a small bundle of manila envelopes, not special, regular manila envelopes, and you'll get printed instructions. Is it what I thought? Uh, I didn't know what to think, right? Because there's been other tricks like this, like ring flight. This is not ring flight. This is not ring flight, I will say that. Um, a little easier, maybe, to do than ring flight. A little braver, maybe, but still a little easier. But like I said, perfectly within the realms of any skill set. Is it well made? Uh, let me give you the dimensions, all right, from the ad copy. The shaker is approximately three inches tall. It's one and three quarter inches in diameter. It features an elegant swirl etching pattern and is a real genuine glass restaurant salt shaker, which of course has been cleverly modified. Um, any object with a maximum diameter of about seven eighths of an inch, so about the size of a quarter, could be used. And like I said, other than that, they're giving you an eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. So there's no other tutorial at all. So there is just, this is how you put the salt in, right? You have to provide your own salt. And it's real salt, real salt. You don't have to go out and get gimmick salt. Uh, they'll tell you how to load it, the salt. And then uh, they'll give you a really simple way to vanish the, the ring. And that's really what the manila envelopes are for, but you can do anything you want. So the manila envelopes are just provided as an easy way to make the ring vanish. You could make the ring vanish any way you want. So if you're already skilled with ring magic or coin magic, where you make you know a coin disappear and then reappear somewhere else, 
this will be so, so easy for you. All right, so how are the angles? Uh, this is good for close-up work. This would be good for parlor work. You could do it surrounded with no fear of being detected. You're also not gonna fumble in your pockets. There's also no lapping. There's no behind the scenes loading. Any vanished object could appear inside the shaker and you don't drop it in from behind or sneak it into view. That said, could the salt shaker be inspected? Uh, no, because it's gaffed. And like we say around here, you don't let people inspect gaff items. They would find it. They would find it right away. Set up and reset. Really? I mean, the only thing you're doing is loading the salt inside the salt shaker. And it's very similar to how you would load salt in a regular salt shaker. So you're just pouring salt inside the salt shaker, screwing the lid on, and you're good to go. That's all you got to do. And granted, you'd have to load it every time because, I mean, if you're table hopping, right, you got to, excuse me while I pick up all this salt, right? You'd have to do that. $55, real glass, right? Real glass, real modified glass salt shaker will last you forever. This is one of those props that would never wear out. Like this would be a legacy prop, right? You'd buy this once, one purchase, and you'll be able to do a ring to salt shaker for the rest of your life. Really, guaranteed. So yeah, it's a great, great prop. And that's everything I wanted to say. That's it. And so I hope I've introduced you to something new or maybe answered a question for you that you had already. If not, like I said, comment below and I will continue to answer your questions. Should you, should you wish, should you have more questions? I'm here for you. That's why I'm here. Uh, do me a solid, okay? Do me a favor, hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. These aren't just words, okay? I don't just say this at the end of every video just for fun or because it's what every other YouTuber blah, blah, blah says, right? I, I say this because <laughs> uh, it helps me. It really does. Your, your little clicking of the buttons helps me out, helps the channel out, helps us keep this channel going. So you help me. So you want me to keep doing these reviews. You want to encourage me to keep going. The way to do it is to hit like, hit subscribe, hit follow. That helps me a ton. So huge thanks to hocus-pocus.com for allowing me to have this trick and uh, head on down there. They get stuff that nobody else gets. They get Hocus Pocus exclusives like this, but they also get estate sale magic. So magic that you couldn't find anywhere else. They have a, they have a selection that can't be found everywhere else. And so that's, that's key when you're trying to find those tricks that make you stand out. Plus, they answer questions. They get back to you and they really help their customers. So check them out. Check out hocus-pocus.com and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hey, would you like to learn a magic trick? You would. Did you know I have a second channel? That's right. I have a second channel where I teach beginning level magic tricks. Magic Channel Card Tricks is a place that you can go to to learn tricks with ordinary items you can find around the house. Paper clips, rubber bands, pens, and of course, decks of cards. I teach beginning level card tricks, simple card tricks, simple card forces that anybody could learn. I also review magic kits. So if you go buy a magic kit from the store, uh, your local Walmart or Target, uh, or you get a magic kit for Christmas, I'll go over exactly what's inside. And I'll even teach you how to perform with some of those tricks that you get inside those kits. Plus, I'm even gonna give you video instruction to very simple, very inexpensive tricks that you can pick up at your favorite magic store. Sometimes you get those tricks and the instructions are just on a tiny little piece of typewritten paper and you have no idea how to do that trick. Don't throw that trick away. Don't put it in a box. Come back to Magic Channel Card Tricks and I will teach you how to use that trick as well. Or maybe you're not a beginner. Maybe you're not a beginner, but maybe you have a niece or a nephew or a little brother or sister that is, that you could share this channel with them. This is a great, safe place kid-friendly, where they can learn beginning-level magic. Make sure you head on over to Magic Channel Card Tricks. Give my videos a like. Subscribe to that channel. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for being a part of Magic Orthodoxy.